all right i have installed the two nodes node 1 and node 2 and i installed the windows server 2008 on both the nodes applied the service pack latest service pack sp2 on both the nodes now let us go through what we have we have created the three virtual machines all three has windows server 2008 and applied the sp2 on all the three machines okay i will create domain on this cluster dc mission make it as a domain controller and i will join these two computers to that domain and after that i will cluster these two missions and create a windows cluster and after that i will install sql server 2008 on both the nodes and to set up the failover clustering okay uh, the the mission name that you see here cluster dc node 1 and node 2 actually these are the uh, vmware mission names not actually the mission names inside that box let us go through each mission okay let's start uh, configuring the servers maximize the virtual mission this is our cluster dc mission this will act as a domain controller now we need to see the computer name it has got uh, some junk name change it as uh, some meaningful name i will name it as uh, cluster dc same as the virtual mission name from the vmware and it says we need to restart the computer okay go ahead and restart the computer now let us go to the node 1 and node 2 and replace the computer names as well there so now I am in node 2 as you can see from this I'm going to change the computer name for the node 2 mission as node 2 again restart this node 2 mission to reflect that name go to the node 1 do the same thing change the computer name from whatever the default VMware has given to the node 1 okay I rename the computers for all the three missions now let us go to the cluster DC mission still it has not been booted up Okay, I logged in as uh, administrator on the cluster DC mission. Now I'll go ahead and set up. Okay, before uh, setting up any configurations, uh, we need to turn off the UAC, disable the Windows firewall. Okay, and set the password for the administrator and uh, whatever the other other user accounts and apply all the latest service packs we need to follow all these things on all the three missions and for the clustering we need to have three, uh, .NET Framework 3.5 SP1 if we if we apply SP2 Windows Service Pack SP2 uh, 
um, it will be there already the framework 3.5 so we don't need to especially do that because let us start uh, creating the domain before that we need to set the network configuration we have one but we already set up the private IP one more oh, not for this okay sorry this is cluster DC we have given just one network adapter we don't need private uh, uh, we don't need private IP or you know we don't need to have one more network adapter for this mission so this is fine but need to we need to give the IP address we have listed down the IP addresses that we are going to use okay for the domain control mission I'm going to use 192.168.1.110 and for the node 1 111 and for the node 2 112 okay so let's give 110 so we are not going to use the IPv6 just the IPv4 go to the properties and we need static IPs not the dynamic so here the default gateway points to the router IP address here for this mission uh, in my home network I have the router IP which is 192.168.1.1 I'm going to give that so that I can connect to internet and apply any service packs or whatever it is on that one okay and the preferred DNS server will be okay the loop back as you can see that here sorry the reverse way okay now I will start uh, creating the domain DC promo let's go to the other nodes and see if those machines have booted okay and now here we don't need to use the advanced mode just say next click next and we are going to create new domain let us call the domain name as meta manager dot local
and the functional level is Windows Server 2008. Click Next. Yes, we are going to install the DNS server on this domain. Click Next. Here, that is fine. Say Yes. For storing the Active Directory stuff, that is fine. Accept the default. Say Next. The directory server password. Click next. Now it is going to take some time to install the DNS and create the domain. I will pause the video and I will come back uh, once the installation is completed. Okay, the DNS setup has been completed. Maximize the window. Click finish. And we need to restart the mission. Okay, it's going to restart the cluster DC mission. Again, it will take some time. Let me pass and I'll get back uh, once the mission is booted up.